Hi everybody! Welcome to Unicor's product release program. In this video, I'm going to introduce our new generation GNSS module, UM960. UM960 is a high precision GNSS positioning module with RTK technology. It can be used in a wide range of applications such as robotic mowers, deformation monitoring, UAVs, handheld GIS, etc. One of the distinctive features of UM960 is the compact size. So the theme of this presentation is small in size, big in performance. This slide shows the name of UM960, High Precision RTK Positioning Module. Speaking of the size of this module, it's only 16 mm in length and 12 mm in width. Compared to our previous generation product, the area of this module has been reduced by 84%. But why do we need a small module? As we know, in the intelligent era, the autonomous machines are becoming smaller and smaller, which in turn requires their components to be compact. A compact size will give you more flexibility in hardware design. It's easier for you to integrate your product, making your device more portable, broadening the application scenarios, and reducing the cost. UM960 supports all of the major satellite constellations, including GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, and QZSS. It also supports multiple frequencies, as shown in this picture. The support of multi-frequency all constellation enables the module to get more observations, thus improving the position fix rate, the positioning accuracy, as well as reliability, even in signal-challenging scenarios. UM960 features extraordinary computing power thanks to the GNSS chip, Nebulous 4. Nebulous 4 is Unicor's new generation chip, and compared to our previous generation, Nebulous 2, its floating-point computing ability has been improved by five times, which greatly reduces the time on RTK solution and also enables the module to output 20 Hz data, including the RTK positioning data and RTCM data. Moreover, the module supports 1,408 channels, being able to track multiple frequencies concurrently and can support more signals in the future. UM960 also features low power consumption thanks to the Nebulous 4 chip, which has integrated radio frequency, baseband, and high-precision algorithm. So no extra RF chip or external RTK algorithm is needed, which further reduces the power consumption. Generally speaking, the power consumption of multi-system, multi-frequency, high-precision RTK modules on the market is above 1 watt, and that of our previous generation GNSS module, UM4B0, is about 1.8 watts. But UM960 has reduced the power consumption to less than 450 milliwatts. It's an ideal choice for low power applications, and it generates less heat, by the way. UM960 is designed with anti jamming ability. It can acquire and track different frequencies separately which means that if one frequency was interfered, it could still use other frequencies to ensure the normal operation of positioning. Here are two tables showing the test results of UM960 when tracking B1 signal with single tone interference and narrowband interference. We can see that the module can fix the position in most cases and demonstrates excellent anti-jamming ability. 
UM960C also has the interference detection function, which can display the strength of the interference virally with graphic representation. In some application scenarios, such as drone light show, you may need to detect the interference in the environment before performing the show so as to prevent flight accidents. This page is a performance of UM960C. Starting from the basic information, you can see that the module supports 1,408 channels. It supports all of the major constellations, supports the concurrent reception of multiple signals. And for the electrical specification, the power consumption is 440 milliwatts, which was mentioned before. And for the performance specifications, the positioning accuracy of UM960 has reached centimeter level, and the data update rate is up to 20 hertz. Just now we mentioned the performance of UM960, but what can you benefit from it when you use this module? Here we selected four typical applications, which are also the target markets of UM960, and we listed four common problems. The first one is low fixed rate and low accuracy when signals are blocked. The second one is short working time of handheld devices. The third one is high cost of high precision solutions. And the last one is high requirements for data quality. Next, we're going to talk about them one by one. First of all, the low fixed rate problem. As the picture shows, we put the base station in a signal challenging environment under heavy foliage with top buildings around. And then, put the rover station in the shade of trees. In such challenging environment, UM960 can still maintain a high fixed rate, which is higher than 92% and is much better than the competitive product. Now you may wonder why we put the base station at an obscured place because the normal practice is to put it in an open area. Here's our consideration. With the expansion of application scenarios, the high-precision GSS modules are increasingly used in intelligent machines and UAVs, of which the base station is usually constructed near buildings for the convenience of power supply. So we think obscure scenarios will be common in the future, and we made a lot of optimization in this respect and finally present you a module with high fixed rate. This is an alley scene with buildings on both sides and the alley is narrow. In this scenario, the fixed rate of UM960 can be more than 87%, which is significantly higher than the competitive product. Besides, the test results in this scene could also be a reference for other application scenarios, such as geographic information collection. Another typical scenario is the urban canyon. Here are two pictures showing the test result for UM960 and the competitive product. The green points represent fixed solution. The yellow represent flow solution, and the blue represents DGPS solution. So you can see that UM960 has few yellow points and just a few blue points, which demonstrates the high position fixed rate of this module. And how about the positioning trajectory? Let's see this picture. Here the red line represents UM960, and the green line represents the competitive product. Let's zoom in, and you can see that the red line is smooth and consistent with the map, while the green line has some acute angles, and the trajectory on the right part of the map has deviated from the street. 
So UMI60 not only has a high fixed rate, but also with high accuracy. Next, we tested two other scenes. The first one is the alarm hour moving around the building at a low speed. The second one is in a courtyard with buildings on all sides. In these scenes, the fixed rate of UM960 is about 90% and is higher than the competitive product. Therefore, UM960 can provide you better positioning experience. Let's move on to the next problem, the short working time of handheld devices. For outdoor working, such as electricity line inspection, petroleum pipeline inspection, forestry operations, and agricultural operations, workers need to stay outdoors for a long time, and it's inconvenient to recharge your device frequently. UM960 features low power consumption of only 440 milliwatts or even less, allowing your battery to work longer. Besides, less power consumption also means that the battery size could be smaller. And in addition to the compact size of the module, your handheld device could be more portable. The next problem is the high cost of high precision solutions. In order to lower your cost, we made effort in three aspects. The first one is related to the low power consumption. So how does low power consumption reduce the cost? Taking geological disaster monitoring as an example, the power supply of the monitoring device is usually provided by solar panels. And if your module consumes less power, there will be fewer solar panels needed. It has been estimated that for every 100 milliwatts reduction in power consumption, the cost can be saved by 200 RMB, about $29. The second method to reduce cost is related to the size of the module. As you know, UM960 is compact and its area on PCB has been reduced by 84% compared to our previous generation product. In this way, it reduces your cost in hardware. Last but not least, the module is cost effective. You can buy it at a moderate price while experiencing the high performance of this module. The last problem is related to the quality of observation data. While some users prefer a one-stop solution, others want to process the observation data by themselves, which put requirements on the data quality. As the table shows, the pseudo-range measurement error of UM960 is less than 10 cm, and the carrier phase measurement error has reached less than 0.5 millimeters, which is far better than the industry requirement. From the TEQC analysis, you can also see that the data quality is high, satisfying the requirement of applications such as deformation monitoring, and is suitable for users who have their own algorithm but need high quality observation data. In addition to the module, we also provide evaluation board to help you use it. The UM960EB is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with our previous generation product and the mainstream boards on the market. There is also an evaluation kit called Unikit, which supports 4G communication, supports entry protocol with data storage function and supports all of Unicore GNSS products. Apart from the hardware accessories, we also provide an evaluation software, namely UPrecise. It's a virtualized software and can be used to set various configurations, display the positioning information, output observation data, etc. UM960 has gone into mass production. 
We cooperate with two fully qualified foundries with five advanced production lines that conform to international standards. And the foundries can produce 200,000 pieces modules per month. That's all for today's presentation. To learn more about our product, you can visit our website, telephone us, or just send us an email. We're ready to answer your questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.